Hi everyone, just wanted to share with you some cute little goodie bags that you can make using the Julie Netting Prima Doll. It's the metal die cut with the cling stamp sets. I used all three sets. And basically what I did was I used the buff paper pad for the hair and the doll. And I wanted to make these little bags to where the girls can have a couple of different outfits. So I added some Velcro. And all I did was add the Velcro to the dress and the body. So you can see I added it to the body right here. And then I just glued on the hair and also the shoes. So the only piece that the girls can change up um, basically is the dress. So you can see on these other three dresses I add the Velcro. So this way the girls will have a couple of different outfits to choose from. So she can put this one on or she can put this one and then she can also choose from this one. So I made sure the shoes matched all three outfits which pretty much is from the same collection so it should pretty much match. And I put it in these cute little bags that I had that I purchased from Daiso. These are the 5.8 by 4 inch bags and you get 35 bags. So let me show you first this one here. This one is, the collection is the Webster's Pages, Your Life, Beautiful. This is a paper pack right here. So I used um, a lot of my 6x6 paper pads that I've already had and thought would be cute with the doll outfits. And I basically just cut a piece of design paper and adhered it to the bag. Then I add some of this twine here that I picked up at Target. So I used all three of the colors that I was able to find. And then I used my Spellbinders die which is the lacy circles. I just add it to this little CD case. And then I stamped the word all dolled up. And this was a stamp that I received as a gift from Regina. And I thought it just went really perfect with the dolls. And then I add this little heart. And that's part of the Webster's Pages Whimsy Hearts pack. You get six of the beautiful non-adhesive hearts. Really cute. So I add the little green one in the center. So inside the bag she gets the doll and again I already add the hair, the velcro, and the shoes. And then she gets the three outfits. So I add this outfit. She gets this one right here. And then she gets this one. So there's three little outfits she gets to play with. And then it just goes in this little bag. Like so. So that's one of them. And then this one, this collection is by... Let's see. This one is from Echo Park. It's the This and That collection. Really pretty papers. And again, I just add the design paper. I add the twine, which is the green one. I use the same um, spell binders, scallop, the lacy circles die. And then the stamp, and then another one of the Webster's Pages heart. And then inside her bag, again, I use the buff paper pad for the girls. So this one she gets, again, the hair and then her little shoes. This die set comes with little poodle, so I add a little poodle. And then she gets the three different dresses. So again, I add the Velcro to the back, like so. So that one is that pack. And when I'm adding the Velcro to the dress, just a little tip, 
when you place this part of the Velcro down, just add this piece of the Velcro to this and then you place the dress on top and then it'll position it in the right spot. So that's how I did that. And it's just really cute. And then it just goes in her little bag. And then the last one, oh, and this one, before I show you the last one, this doll right here, I used, that's the Prima Annalie collection. So that's what I used on this one. And then for the last one, I used this paper pad. I picked up at Marshall's a while back. If I'm, I'm most positive, I thought I saw this at Tuesday morning. Um, this is by Crate Paper. It's the Little Bo Peep stack and that's what I used for this one again the same thing you know the twine I used the blue one this time and then the heart and stamped all dolled up so this is for this doll right here and then she gets her two little outfits so these are two pieces so I just basically adhered it together and that's her outfit like so, and I think there's one more, and then here's the last one. So it's a, just a really cute little idea that you can gift somebody or anyone, really. I thought this would be cute to give to Ashley's little friends. So I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.